Uh, this is Bukina Swaraj, and we are, we are here for our second lesson uh, on mathematics made uh, simpler for all. Uh, in this lesson, we are looking at the factors, and uh, basically, uh, after this lesson, um, you will be able to find the factors, meaning of factors, uh, prime factor, uh, prime factorizing the greatest common factor or highest common factor, and then uh, uh, you will be able to answer the solution, you to give the solutions uh, to the questions uh, that I'm going to uh, put in our comments. Uh, whoever passes those questions will get a free book. In, uh, sent to the email. Well, uh, you can make some notes as we have uh, written them uh, on our whiteboard. What are factors? A factor actually is a divisor of any number. Uh, or you can say that any two numbers can multiply to get a particular number. We are giving examples here of some uh, of the factors. If you look at the factors of 2, denoted by F2, we have 1 and 2. So you can look at 2 as a prime number, as we saw in our previous lesson. So 2 divided by, by, divided by 1 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Also, if you use our second method we have talked about, 2 times 1 is 2. Um, if you look at factors of 8, uh, the solution would be 1, 2, 4, 8. Those are the divisors of 8. Like 8 divided by 1 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 8 divided by 8 is 1. So which means those are the divisors of 8. Also somebody can get 8 by saying 1 times 8, 8. 2 times 4 is 8. What do they mean by what they say? Prime factors or prime factorize. The prime factors are the prime factors. Are, are the Factors that are prime numbers. Example, when they say prime factor is 8, we can use our ladder method. That means we get the factors of 8. We start by 2 because the first prime number. We divide by um, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 8 divided by, uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So this is called the ladder method that we can use here. Which means, um, if you write 8 as the product of its prime factors, it will be 2 times 2 times 2. Or you can say 2 uh, to exponent 3 or to the power of 3. Prime factorizing 8, uh, somebody can decide uh, either to write them as 2 subscript 1, 2 subscript 2, 2 subscript 3. Meaning that there are two, there are three 2's in 8. So which means somebody has written those twos as the factors of eight. When I said write eight as the product, write eighteen as the product of its prime factors. Uh, remember, uh, in our previous lessons, we said a prime number has only uh, two factors, one and itself. So before I continue, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, to get more of these lessons, such that you can. You can enjoy our mathematics and it can be made simple for you. As I promised you a free book at the end of the lesson, you can find the questions uh, in the comments, as I told you, and then you can also put the solutions in those comments. Then I'll see if your answers are right, then I'll go ahead and give you a free book. So the prime numbers include 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. You can see you're not including 9 with this, because 9 has more than uh, two factors. It has one, three, nine. Prime factorization means uh, you're writing only factors that are prime. So basically, uh, if they say prime factorize 18, which means you can use your ladder method, you have uh, the prime factors, 18 divided by 2 is 9, and 9 divided by 3 is 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So the 18 in the same as 2 times 3 is 3. Then highest common factor or the greatest common factor. This is finding the factor that is greatest and common or that is shared between the factors you've listed. Um, so the good example you can use here, 
find the greatest common factor between 6 and 8. The solution you can still use your ladder method. So you have the prime factors of 6 and 8. You have 2, the one that is can be divided between 6 and 